Good afternoon, everybody, and Happy New Year to you. Two weeks ago, the Ryan Neese Foundation challenged its fans on Facebook to commit to 26 random acts of kindness to honor the 26 children and the students and teachers who lost their lives at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Connecticut. Well, it did not take long for those stories to start pouring in. And here with more on that is Mr. Ryan Neese, founder of the Ryan Neese Foundation and a very great guy. <laughs> Happy New Year to you. It's Happy always New good to, to you. see you. Thank you for having me. What was the community response when you said, okay, let's try it, 26 random acts of kindness? You know, we had the opportunity to uh, hear about this pledge, if you would say, this challenge from Ann Curry. She, she, she presented it, and we said, you know what, we got to adopt this, and we got to present it on Facebook mm -hmm. and present it to the individuals out there that have supported our foundation just to honor the tragedy that took place in Connecticut, and it's unbelievable the response uh, that people you know, took the initiative to go out and try to do whatever they could to honor these uh, young young lives that, that that we lost, and it was it was truly a blessing. It was amazing. It seems that people are always looking for a chance to make a difference. They are, and this was an opportunity for not only to make a difference in the lives of others, but to honor the lives that we lost. And so it was just a beautiful combination. And you know, that type of challenge is the things that we have to remind ourselves every day. And mm -hmm. you know, now that we're starting the new year, I have to challenge myself every single day into the new year. How can I find a way to give? How can I find a way to make a difference? Well, speaking of challenge, you've got a big project that's coming up soon. The big service project. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, this is an exciting year for the foundation. Um, you know, we're coming off the, the season of giving and ending the year, but now that we get ready for the new year, we have a huge service project. We're going to take a group of juniors uh, to the Dominican Republic to go over there and serve in the community, but it's more important to really teach these young kids about the philosophies of giving. That's what we believe in in our foundation, the power of giving, and after they uh, spend time in the Dominican, they're going to come back and be able to serve here in the Tampa Bay area. So uh, that's an exciting program, and we can't wait to get that launched and you know, anybody that is out there that wants to be a part of it, they can go to our foundation and uh, learn more about that program. What are some of the, th the ways that the community can help with that? Well, obviously, we always look for financial support. Mm -hmm. I mean, every foundation out there, for right. whether big or small, is always looking for capital um, to support them. But at the same time, you always look for individuals to identify the people that are in need. And, you know, we try to find a way to identify certain individuals that are in need. And uh, I know the community always rallies and helps us in that process as well. And we have the Be More Awards coming up. Uh, February the 21st is the big day. And you have quite a list of candidates for the Be More Giving Award that we present together. What are you I thinking know, at this I point? I know, it's not really <laughs> fair. The list is unbelievable. I mean, uh, the, the candidates, the individuals that have gone out and have done random acts of kindness to truly make a difference in the lives of others in our, in our city, it's unprecedented. And, and I'm excited to be a part of it, but at the same time, it's gonna be a huge challenge to <laughs> try to select one winner. But the Be More Awards, what WEDU does to honor mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the individuals and nonprofits in our community, it's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful event, and I'm so privileged and blessed to be a part of it. Remind our viewers of the idea behind the Power of Giving Award that well, you created. The Power of Giving is just the, the simple philosophy that no matter who you are or where you are, if you do random acts of kindness, you're going to make your world, wherever that world is, a better place. And truly, the Power of Giving is all about if you give, you're going to receive way more back. And we've heard that since we were young kids, but when you really put it into practice, mm -hmm. it really makes sense. And there's no better way to start the new year than to start with the Power of giving. And no better way to start Positively <laughs> Tampa Bay this year than a visit from there Mr. Ryan Neese. Thank you for Thank coming you for in. Me. If you at home would like to learn more about the Ryan Neese Foundation and the many projects that they do throughout the Tampa Bay area, it's a wonderful organization. Please visit them online at ryanneesefoundation.com. They're also on Facebook or if you prefer the old-fashioned phone, here's the number where you can call for more details. 813-785-9249. Thanks for watching everybody.